Hi all, I uh, thought I'd put together a little screencast here on Google's Prettyfy library, uh, which basically uh, allows you to, with just a little bit of markup, make any uh, pre or code wrapped uh, content on your site uh, syntax highlighted. Uh, as I said, with just you know, just a very few amount of attributes and a little bit of markup. Uh, so I thought I'd give you the one minute rundown before you check it out yourself. Basically what we're looking at here has been Google Prettyfied. Um, it's a standard code block, uh, nothing fancy in the HTML uh, besides the fact that it's wrapped in a code tag and then in a, in a pre tag. Um, so uh, what you're looking at without this, without the Prettyfy uh, library, something like this, which is what I have wrapped in a code tag. Um, so uh, Google makes it pretty easy as usual. You just uh, include the, the JavaScript file. You can even uh, serve it right from their, right from their servers. As you can see at the bottom here, I've um, my usual convention is to asynchronously load JavaScript at the, uh, you know, as far down as possible. So at the bottom of my uh, main JavaScript file, I've, I've uh, asynchronously loaded up uh, Google Prettyfy. And I don't need any, really any options or parameters. Google, uh, for the most part, supports uh, any language that has a C-like syntax, JavaScript, and and Java and obviously C and and uh, but they they do have a few add-on extensions for other you know, non-C like languages you know uh, SQL for example and uh, you can do something like just just tack on a, a query string parameter here to load the SQL extension uh, but I think for most of us uh, we're gonna be pretty happy with it out of the box and um, you know it's it's got other other cool parameters that you'd expect, like a callback when uh, when the prettyfy action is complete, so you can you know do whatever you need to do once that happens. Uh, it's got different skins you can load. The default skin is usually one that we understand and recognize the most, which is this one here. You know, just uh, your your standard even odd background color and, and white background uh, with a um, fixed width font. So. I've showed you how to add the JavaScript. Uh, out of the box, it looks pretty good. Uh, they supply a little bit of CSS, and I've added a little bit of my own. But uh, the big important one here that I like is uh, this one right here. You can see it at line 132, and they supply this on their, their site, Google does. It adds line numbers to the, to the, um, to the code, or, or at least formats them in a way that, that I like them. Um, and as you can see here, I've, I've added some background color to the even rows. Um, so once you've got your, your JavaScript and CSS in place, uh, it's basically just a matter of adding some markup. And um, I'll show you how easy it is right here. As I've shown you, this is unmarked, unmarked up. Um, it's just basically sitting there on a code block right here. And, uh, I'll hit my source here, WordPress blog. As you can see right here, I've got it marked up in a code block, but I'll just grab that and a code. Uh, pre gives us kind of the, the fixed width. Um, anything you output displays as is, and code gives us kind of the semantic meaning, let us letting um, you know uh, screen readers and things like that know what what they're uh, parsing. So we want to wrap it in a code tag and then now, that in itself won't do anything. We want to make sure to activate Google Prettyfy, and we do that by supplying a class name of PrettyPrint. Uh, another uh, class name that I like to add is called LineNub. And that basically uh, is what tells Google Prettyfy that, that I do want to see line numbers on the page, otherwise it, it won't print them out. And it's really that simple. 
just you know, save this and I'll load up the updated page here. That's pretty much all there is to it.